M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Did you know with the latest firmware for the Anytone 578, they've brought out a new app, APK, that will go on your Android device to transfer your code plug from your Android device to your Anytone 578. So I've opened it up here just on my computer, just for demonstration, but it opens up like this on your, on your phone. So what you do is to get the data you do have to export the file to become what they call a DB3. So again, we'll just do it again. Tools, export data, click export, and then name the file. Let's just say you're going to call it DDD. See the way it says DB3 underneath? Save. You've now saved that in the correct format so that, so that you can now send it to your phone. And then the app will recognize it. The APK opened up on your phone, you've got the Anytone here, just tap it, start scanning, and when you turn on the Bluetooth of your device, it will find, see at the top here, LET AGHF, it will find that, you can tap that, and you can open the data file, now it's very slow, and you've got to find the file, I put one here in my pictures, a app data DB3 I call it, and you have to wait ages. Anyway, once you've eventually got it and you've paired it with your 578, you can then write it. Um, and, and that's it. Please wait for the file to open. The thing is, it takes forever, so I don't think it's that good. But anyway, I thought I'd let you know about it. Bye for now. All the best. So here's the app running and it's scanning. You can stop and start scanning. And all we do is go menu on the radio menu. Go down to Bluetooth. Bluetooth, turn it on. Hopefully we can scan now, go back, pairing, seek, and um, it should seek, when it does find it, I'm not saying it will find it now, it's actually called Elet AGHF, okay, and uh, let's just go down to available, it's not finding it now, but it, I did find it, paired list, see if it's in there, there it is, host device, okay, that's what it's called. And then it will basically the 578 is now talking to the app and then the app you basically are opening the file you want to transfer and clicking right but to me i don't think it's that great <laughs> maybe they'll improve it who knows maybe they're getting ready for the new bt01 so bye for now all the best